Hi, it's Angie Noel from Reconciled Solutions again. Today I'm talking about our new group coaching course. It's called Startup Solutions and Profit First Coaching. Um, this is a group coaching session that is geared towards small businesses that are one to three years in business and they're doing professional services type work. I am so excited to be in the third week of helping this first cohort of small business owners really understand those concepts that are going to help them marry good financial strategic practices to help them run a profitable business with the accounting and bookkeep side, knowing that they're solopreneurs and they are self-managing their own accounting so that they can be meaningful and purposeful in every activity that they do. This past week, week three, we had so much fun discussing lifestyle congruence. The whole point of lifestyle congruence is that we need to understand how much do we need in our personal life? What's our personal financial goal that is required so that we can amp that up to how much we need to sell in our business. So we need to understand how much we need to sell of which widget and how frequently that we need to sell that particular widget in efforts to hit our personal financial congruence, lifestyle congruence goals. So basically, I know I need to take home X amount, $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month, $30,000 a month, whatever that amount is, how am I gonna gross it up and, and reverse engineer so that I know how much I need to sell of which product to reach that goal. So we had so much fun going through it this past week and I can't help but say that I think this is one of the most important things that we can do in our business because it's just too hard to get up in the morning and to say like, all right, I'm gonna make some sales calls today and, and hopefully I'll do some good work but not know what your specific goal is. It is ever so much easier to be able to understand that lifestyle congruence how it ties into your financial strategy and how it ties into your sales and marketing strategy, how these points come together so that when you get up in the morning, when it, whether it's a Thursday or a Monday, you know that you need to find uh, five new people that are going to buy widget A from you and you need to find three new people this week that are going to buy widget B from you. So those are your goals, Monday through Friday. You're sitting on Tuesday and you've got 90% of your sales goals done this week. It's gonna make you feel a lot differently about Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, isn't it? It's gonna help you breathe easier, sleep better at night. So it's fun stuff. And I wanted to keep you updated on what we're doing. I look forward to starting my next cohort towards the end of October. Let us know if you're interested in joining us.